Okay, so in this very short session, we will discuss the Mangold function. Let us see what uh, the Mangold function is. So the Mangold function is an arithmetical function defined as uh, lambda of n equals log of t if n is some power of t and otherwise it is 0. So therefore lambda of 4 will be log of 2 and lambda of 10 will be 0. Also lambda of 1 by definition is 0 itself. Okay, so now uh, like we have seen before, we are always interested for any arithmetical function. This sum here is of interest to us. So what is uh, this sum for the Mangold function? So we will show that this sum is log of n. So first let's prove this for n equals 1. Okay, so for n equals 1, the only divisor 1 is 1 itself. So this gives us Mangold of d, which is just the Mangold of 1. But Mangold of 1 by definition is 0, and that is the same as log of 1. So the theorem statement is true when uh, n is equal to 1. Now let us prove it when n is greater than 1. Now when n is greater than 1, we know that n has a prime factorization. So suppose n equals t1 raised to a1, t2 raised to a2, up to tk raised to ak is the prime factorization of n. Now notice here that in this sum, uh, we have the Mangold of the divisors, but uh, as we can see, if there are more than one uh, primes in n here, then the value will be zero. Therefore, we would only be interested in those divisors of n which contain a single prime. So, therefore, Mangold uh, sum d divides n. Mangold of D would be, we can ignore all uh, divisors where you have mixed primes in it because those will only contribute 0 to the sum. So this will be summation D divides T1 raised to A1 lambda of D plus sum d divides p2 raised to a2 lambda of t plus up to sum d divides pk raised to ak lambda of t. Now notice here that this sum, so the, the device of p1 raised to a1 is 1 p p square up to p1 raised to a1. So this will be summation i going from 1 to a1 lambda of p1 raised to i plus up to summation i going from 1 to a k lambda of p k raised to i. Now lambda of p1 raised to i is log of p1. Okay, and we have so this will give us summation i going from 1 to a1 log of p1 plus up to summation i going from 1 to ak log of pk. Now here this will be a1 
log of p1 because p1 is constant in this sum here so it can be brought out and we are adding log of p1 to itself a1 times so therefore this will give us a1 times log of p1 plus up to a k times log of p k. Now by using the properties of log we have so let us use the next page so that will give us summation d divides n lambda of n equals we are using the properties of log we will get log of p1 raised to a1 plus log of p2 raised to a2 plus up to log of pk raised to ak. But this here again using the properties of logarithms we have log of p1 raised to a1 times p2 raised to a2 up to k raised to ak. But this number here is n itself. So that is log of n. So this proves our theorem. Next, next we will show that uh, lambda of n is sum uh, d divides n mu of d log of n by d or minus sum d divides n mu of d log, log of d. First let me show you that these two sums here are equal. So let us prove that fact. So these two sums here you can see this is summation d divides n mu of d log of n by d. This here is equal to summation d divides n mu of d times log of n minus log of d. Okay, so this will give us summation. So we could bring the log n outside the first sum to give us because log n is constant. So log of n summation d divides n mu of d minus summation d divides n mu of d log of d. Now let's see what this is. Notice that this sum we have shown is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 and 0 otherwise. And we know that log of 1 is 0. Therefore, this product will always be 0. So therefore, this gives us minus summation d divides n mu of d log of d. Okay, so this proves that these two sums are equal. Now let us show that lambda of n is equal to this. Uh, you might try to think of how do we get this. This is quite natural. Uh, think of it like this. The moment we have an arithmetical function in the sum, to take it out, to express it as a sum of the other side, okay, as you can see over here, there's a log inside here and the lambda out. The normal theorem we always use for this is the Mabius inversion, inversion formula. So let's see what happens when you apply the Mabius inversion formula to this uh, theorem here. This is by the Mabius inversion formula. This will give, give us lambda of n is equal to summation d divides n of mu of d into log of n by d. Okay. So this is what we get by the Mabius inversion formula. And this is exactly what we 
wanted. So this gives us our result. So from this we have proved our result and we will go on to the next section uh, in the next session. Thank you.